Developments in that controversial child custody case involving a rapist. The judge and the prosecutor both admit they made mistakes in the case. And tonight, the judge tossed out his ruling, which had given the rapist custody and visitation. But he's still on the hook for child support payments. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner has been on this case in Santa Lac County every single step of the way and joins us now live with reaction to that ruling today. Jim. Stephen, now the prosecutor gave us this statement he intended to read in court. In it, he uses the word apologize three times, but the judge here did not let anyone else speak. The judge read a statement of his own. It went about 10 minutes. He took a shot at the prosecutor as well as a shot at the attorney for the mom, the rape victim. I did not know that the defendant had raped the plaintiff, which resulted in the child being conceived. The judge specifically said he relies on what is presented by the prosecutor, who was in court. The prosecutor later apologized for his part. We were certainly didn't advise him because we ourselves didn't catch the fact that there was a convicted rapist in the statutory procedure for which we did not follow. Was that a mistake? Oh, I would call it an error, certainly. The mother, we're calling her by her first name, Tiffany, was in court. She was raped when she was 12 years old in 2008 and gave birth to a baby boy. The rapist is the father, Chris Mirasolo. He was not in court. The case got widespread coverage because the judge had granted the rapist joint legal custody and agreed parenting time while paying child support. The judge tossed that consent judgment out to be rewritten, and he took this shot at the attorney for the mom. I'm disappointed with the plaintiff's attorney for turning this into the media service. And he actually criticized me for going to the media. You know, thank goodness I did because this, there never would have been this awareness of what is going on in this county. Now, there are still calls for this prosecutor and this judge to resign. A pretty good sized crowd up here holding a rally. Next hour at 6, we'll show you that and the reaction. Reporting live in Sandusky, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you for that live report. By the way,